Hey guys, it's Joshy here, and I am here to show you how to get three and four star photographs of Tepig in the new Pokemon Snap. Now, before I get into it, if you do find it enjoyable or helpful at any stage, a like is always appreciated, and linked at the end of the video is a playlist of how to get three and four star photos for most Pokemon in this game. But anyway, let's get into it. So we're going to head to the Baron Badlands. Now, I'm going to head during the day, and I will be able to show a three and a four star straight away. I don't believe this is fully required of a level if anything it may need level two some of them just don't appear or easy on level one but you should be able to get it pretty simply so first off throw a fruit get tepig to run over and use ember on it and then eat it easy done and off he pops that is a three star in itself right there and now we need to open up the alternate rooms. So hit the Illumina Orb. This is going to cause a mini orb during the day to knock the rock down. And we can open up the alternate route. Which is the direction we need to take for this four star I'm going to show. And the reason I'm going to show this one is because it is a request from the professor or someone anyway. Also, there is uh, one I'm not going to show, but down the, on the other path, if you lure the coughing and Tepig together, and I'll point them out in just a second, down the bottom, that coughing, and there is a Tepig down there. If you lure them together in a Lumina Orb, you can get them to use, or at least get, um, yeah, Lumina Orb both, you can get a smoke screen. Now here, once Tepig gets to the edge, it'll be a bit scared, Scan and play, uh, sorry, Illumina Orb, then scan or music. I can never remember which one it is, as I just click both at the same time. And Tepig will get the energy to jump. That in itself, I'm not sure if it's a three or a one or anything, but the four star we're after is a little bit up ahead. So I'm not speeding up here because I want the Scolopede to start fighting already. So hopefully we can get past this quickly. And I have a whingy puppy at my feet. Of course, only while recording. So once they stop fighting, come on, you're done. That's great. I think you're both beautiful Pokemon. Move! Harmony music, there we go. Sorry, I forgot to play music to tell you to calm the hell down. And now we have to wait. So Tepic is up there on the edge. Once we can move, we can show stuff. All right, here we go. Now, once you have a clear shot at Tepig, an Illumina Orb again, it'll run backwards, then it'll run forward, and I suggest which I forgot to put on, is putting a burst mode on, which I usually run but had off for a Diglett video. Uh, but nonetheless, we did get a average shot there. Oops. And I'll be able to show it to you anyway as a four star. Hey. So, Tepig, as you can see, we have our three, oh my gosh, three star of it using Ember on the fruit and four star of it jumping. I could obviously do better. As you can see, my other one is better, even though it's not amazing, but nonetheless, and we'll just chuck the three star in. So I'll be back in a sec because I do want to show one other four star. Okay, so for this one, we need to head in at the night and we are going to take the alternate path. I'm also going to point out, I don't think you actually need the Illumina Orb for the second jump, the four star jump from Tepig, uh, but I just usually, I've been throwing it and now I realize I don't think you have to. But anyway, for this one, we also need the alternate path. If you don't know how to get the alternate path, you have to hit Diglett that are digging around with an Illumina Orb to make them pop out and then shoot a photo of them. Now we need to do a few of these at the start. I think it's at least three, but I usually just do most of them just to make sure. And that's the last one anyway. Oh, there we go. You'll know if they interacted with you because I'll make that sound as you snap a shot. From there, 
you need to hit the Illumina Orb, the Diglett will then go up and it's their turn to push the boulder down. Once they do that, you can then take the alternate route. Now we, yes, are going to go in there. Now why not take a photo of the Magikarp while we're speeding along? Now we're going to go up here. What we are aiming for is a same section you can get a four star rock rough. So continue onwards. No need to actually hit Gliscor. I just felt like it. And we're going to come over this bend. And then there's going to be the four friends sleeping, which is Tepig, Shinx, Torchic and Rockruff. Here, what we want to do is wake up the Tepig. So to wake up the Tepig, we need to hit it with a Fluff Fruit. Once you do, hit him with an Illumina Orb so he's awake, and he should defend his friends from... Um... Wow. He tried to defend his friends anyway from the Mandibuzz. And that should be it. Hey. And as you can see there, him trying to defend his friends is also a four star. So anyway, guys, if you did find that enjoyable or helpful, as I said, a like is appreciated. You can also check out the channel itself. There's a lot of different content every week, Pokemon and not. And you can check out Twitch, which is linked down below. Same thing again, a lot of different content on there every week, including community-based gaming. And finally, as I said earlier, there is a playlist linked in a second at the end of the video. It does contain many Pokemon from this game, well over half, and I'm working more through it, and how to get their three and four stars. Now, if you do go in there and find that there is a Pokemon missing that you would like to be done, then let me know in a comment or Discord or anywhere like that. But anyway, guys, until my next video, I'll see ya.